did it. We're back. Welcome back, you Townians. What's up, Meg? Hey. The full disclaimer, we are on the road. We're in a hotel. Shout out to the Red Roof Inn for this beautiful studio location. We are trying to record on the Riverside app for the very first time. This could sound terrible. Could look terrible. Could be awesome. Maybe we'll be able to do this while we're camping this summer. What do you think? Could be fun. Could be fun. Either way, shout out to Sarah from In a Pickle Radio. She said, hey, if you do something in Massachusetts, Massachusetts, I was going to do it with the whistles, Massachusetts, um, then you have <laughs> to let me pick something. I was like, all right, let's go. We need a new one on the state map. So Massachusetts it is. So today we're going to talk about the history and mysteries of Lynn's Haunted Pirate Cave. Ooh. Right? Should be pretty cool. Sounds interesting. And I thought it was fitting, potentially. The place where we are can be for potentially some sports, and maybe they're even the pirates. So let's talk about some pirates, some some history, some mystery. And if I remember to edit in the intro, we'll do a... When I? No. Maybe you saw the intro, maybe you didn't. But either way, let's jump into this. We're on a little bit of a time crunch, so it sounds terrible. Our fault. And uh, might hear some people working in the background. Who knows? But um, you might hear a kid laughing. The rustic version. And some... uh, this is a two star hotel. We're just going to sit more of the town, but we'll hold me through there. So Lynn, Massachusetts is a coastal, and this isn't my phone, this is the lovely Megs, if anybody is wondering. Uh, we got her notes on the list. Lynn, Massachusetts <laughs> is a coastal city with rich and storied past. It's also known for its historic sites and vibrant cultural scene. One of the city's more intriguing landmarks is the so called haunted. Pirate Cave, which has become a topic of fascination for locals and visitors alike. This cave, nestled in the rugged coastline of Lynn, is shrouded in legends of pirates and supernatural occurrences. So we're going to talk about and really dive in, maybe even go on a virtual exploration with the mysteries of Lynn's haunted pirate cave. We're going to hopefully shed some light on the tales that has captivated people for generations. Are you excited? Let's go. I'm excited. So let's do a little bit of the history of the Pirate Cave. Um, it's known for its rocky shores, stunning ocean views. The precise location remains somewhat elusive, though, adding to the sense of mystery surrounding it. The cave's history is intertwined with the larger narrative of piracy along New England's coast, which reached its peak during the 17th to 18th centuries. So the New England coast was once a hotbed of pirate activity. Did you know that? I did not know that. Me neither. I wonder if they had anything to do with the Plus. So the New pirates. England coast? The New England coast. Apparently hmm. it was a hotbed for pirate activity. Maybe because on the map, like, it's up. You know what I mean? A little there. must be easy to get to. Yeah. That makes sense. I bet you they didn't do much in the winter up there. Probably not. Neither does anybody. The region's numerous coves, inlets, and islands provided an ideal hiding spot for pirate ships. Uh, pirates like Blackbeard and Captain Kidd are known to have sailed these waters seeking refuge and plundering merchant vessels. I can see that. Mm-hmm. Coming in, being able to hide your ship, mm-hmm. get up there. Mm-hmm. Lynn's Pirate Cave is believed to have been a hiding place for pirates during this era. The cave's secluded location, natural camouflage, made it an ideal spot for pirates to store their loot and play in their next escapades. The cave's strategic position along the coast also allowed pirates to monitor passing ships and make quick getaways if necessary. How cool that would have been. Like just kind of hide now and exhilarating. Be like, there goes the ship. Okay, we gotta go. <laughs> Raise the flag. And away they go. Quick, get away. Right. Let's uh, hope it's a windy day. Yeah. It's, hey, New England coast. Yeah. A lot of wind. There is. So there's obviously pirate legends and lore, and let's talk about it here. The lore surrounding Lynn's pirate cave is rich with tales of buried treasure and ghostly apparitions. According to the local legends, pirates would hide their stolen riches in the cave, burying it deep within the earth. Some stories suggest that the pirates placed curses on the treasure to protect it from ever being discovered. Another popular legend claims that the cave is haunted by the spirits of pirates who met on timely deaths. These restless souls are said to roam the cave, guarding their treasure and occasionally making their presence known to visitors. A lot of stuff in caves. Of all the places that I'm going to go treasure hunting, not a cave. Super intrigued by caves. You are? I am. I don't know that I... I don't know. There's certain ones I think I would go in, and then most of them I would not. Yeah, I don't want to be in any of them. I think I've seen the other end of the show, like, Thousand Ways to Die. That's not going to be one. Also, quick shout-out to our 
homemade tripod. It is a Happy Dad Heart Seltzer banana flavored tripod with a red roof in um, remote for the TV, TV that is holding this phone up. So shout out to Happy Dad and the red <laughs> roof in remote. They're doing a great job. Fantastic. Fantastic. Good and job. sturdy. Sturdy. Just like pirate treasures that are in these cases. But what also adds to these is the remote location, and the treacherous terrain that uh, really makes it challenging for any explorer or to be able to find them. And it's crazy to me. I've never heard of any treasures being found in the northeast coast of New England. Maybe they're still there. Mm -hmm. But many treasure hunters, adventurers, whatever they might be, cave explorers, they've attempted to uncover the secrets of the cave. Some explorers have reported finding remnants of old artifacts like rusted chains, broken pieces of pottery, which may be evidence that the caves might have had some pirates in here in the past. However, there hasn't been any significant treasure that has ever been definitely discovered in these caves. This has only fueled further speculation and interest in the possibility of hidden riches. So there's probably nothing there. But it's good for the economy to have all <laughs> these people come looking for these treasures. I mean, you hear it everywhere. The, uh, what's the one that, um, that's in the British Columbia? Uh, the the mines. It's like a big TV show. Oak Island. Oak Island. The Curse of Oak Island. They've been looking for that for how many seasons and how many years, and they don't find anything. Is there even anything there? Good for TV. Good for business. <laughs> but also a lot of seasons. A lot of seasons. I'd watch it. It's like today on this episode, and you're gonna go to find something. It's like, huh? I just wasted 58 <laughs> minutes of my life. <laughs> but next week is the week, and then you start to Google it. It's like. Oh, there Spoiler alert, in case anybody's there. But I haven't watched it in many years, so maybe they did find something. But also, with the pirates and stuff, comes the paranormal activity. And a couple episodes ago, we did some stuff with paranormal stuff, and people really liked it. So we're going to mix in pirates and paranormal and all the things, pee, maybe some peanut butter and jelly for lunch. Mm -hmm. Reports of paranormal activity in the cave have persisted for decades. Visitors have claimed to hear eerie sounds echoing through the cave, such as whispers and distant screams. Others have reported seeing shadowy figures. And just kind of that feeling of a chilling presence. Paranormal investigators have also conducted studies in the cave using equipment to detect changes in electromagnetic fields. So yeah. And other potential indicators of ghostly activity. Well, some results have been inconclusive. The cave's reputation as a haunted site continues to grow. Kind of like we mentioned a little bit earlier, Lynn's Pirate Cave has become a part of the city's cultural heritage. It's inspired local artists, writers, filmmakers to have incorporated the cave's legends into their works. The cave also serves as a focal point for community events and tours, drawing tourists, history, and museums. So they don't want the treasure to be found. They want people coming up there, spending their money, and looking for those treasures. So let's wrap it all up with Lynn's on the Pirate Cave remains captivating and mysterious site. That continues to intrigue and inspire. Its history is a testament to the region's pirate past, while its legends add a touch of the supernatural to the city's cultural landscape. Whether one is drawn to the cave for its history, its mysteries, or its potential for adventure, there is no denying the allure of this enigm enigm enigmatic <laughs> landmark. That one guy, yeah. It was like right <laughs> at the end. But I was trying. It wasn't even hard names in it. No, I did that on purpose. <laughs> Blackbeard, love it. And uh, I was, I was like trying to read the quote while I was trying to read that. And it tripped me up. But either way, shout out to the sources, Wikipedia, and a lot of the information was wgbh.org. I was able to do this kind of on the fly while potentially watching some sports, writing an article, podcast on the road. We love it. Got a quote? You want to read it back? I'll hand you the phone. You want to read it? Nah, I'm going for it. Every man has its own destiny. The only imperative is to follow it, to accept it, no matter where it leads it. Edward Teach, who is also known as Blackbeard. Ooh, dun, dun, dun. There it is. I didn't know that uh, he, he even had a name. I just thought he was Blackbeard. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We'll be back next week with another episode back in the Beard Law studio. Hopefully, you know, maybe this works out well and we'll just be remote wherever, whenever. And uh, like I said, Shout out to Anna Pickle Radio. Go check them out. They uh, they do a lot of stuff, a lot of good sports stuff. So, again, thanks for recommending it. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Anything else, man? I don't think so. All right. Shout out to all of our crazy kids that remain somehow to be quiet for what are we at? 10, 12 minutes? 10. 10 minutes. So thank you to them. Well, even though they have their headphones on. <laughs> it's honestly impressive. 
it's impressive. We should do more podcasting too. <laughs> why? But again, a little bit of a shorter episode, but we'll be back next week. Uh, what do you think? True crime next week? Right. We'll come back next week with some true crime. Have a couple of pretty cool episodes. So again, thank you, everybody. We'll uh, we'll see you next week. Bye. See you later.